the certainty of the de on the demand side, right? And that is that's definitely the case. And so it's interesting that you're starting to see more and more uh, applications, especially if you go to these trade shows. So you're starting to see not only the infrastructure, but you're starting to see like Cummings. I went and looked at their their latest hydrogen engine the other day. It's adapted from diesel. I mean, people are really taking this serious. They're starting to build up uh, actual production. So I think the demand side is coming. What's exciting to us is we're actually seeing the demand grow. And so just this, this, just this week, the Department of Defense has come to us and has asked us about doing some very unique projects for the military, which is my background, some of you know, is, is heavily based on the DOD work. And now to see that the, the military is looking at hydrogen, not just because it's green tech, there's a lot of advantages are starting to come out. And as we start to see these advantages, especially creating power at no noise, just amazing, you know, being able to to uh, to power a large platoon or something with no noise. It's, it's pretty incredible what we're starting to see. And then how do you store that energy long term? So the demand side, I think, is key. The second one is I completely agree with him is standards and getting the standards to be the same across across the globe. Uh, we can't just have U.S. standards, European standards and and. Uh, standards in, in Japan or Australia. So I agree the standards, that's, that's a huge key point. But we have a couple other uh, topics I'd like to uh, discuss real quick challenges that uh, I think are important to address at this point. One is the one I said earlier, was the continued growing use of hydrogen outside the transportation industry. As that grows, we may not have as much hydrogen as we anticipate to really fuel the, uh, the transportation sector. So that's, that's one big issue. But another challenge that I'm starting to see right now is setting realistic goals and then once again, use cases, how this it could be used, and then understanding how each one of these goals apply to the 2030 and 2050 uh, objectives you see out there. And then cost, of course, is the key. Uh, but we have great companies out there uh, like Tina's, they're working on the cost of hydrogen and bringing that down. We're working on the cost of storage and liquefaction and bringing that down. So those are the key points on the challenges I see at this point. 